Okay, I'm Shoji Takeuchi from the University of Tokyo, working in, in this institute, Institute of Industrial Science. This is a very small robot, which has uh, only a few centimeters. The, uh, the first primary motivation to make a biohybrid robot is uh, kind of the uh, scientific pictures. This is the body of the skeleton for the biohybrid robot. The joint is uh, rotated like a finger joint like this. So we, we actually make finger bone-like structures by using the 3D printer and then culture the living uh, muscle tissues in between the uh, finger bones. And when we apply the voltage between the uh, living tissues, they actually make a contractions so that the finger bone uh, can move by the power of the uh, uh, muscle contractions. This is uh, so-called a biohybrid robot. Uh, we use a 3D printer to make the red colored part. Well, we use the 3D printer in the dark room because the resin is toward by the right. We are now thinking the two kind of applications. One is the, uh, making the real biohybrid robot, which is a kind of artificial uh, robot that works uh, by using the living materials. And the other application is the kind of pharmaceutical studies. When we make a 3D muscles, so it can be used for the drug de development. And conventionally, so the drug is developed by using the living animals, but the, uh, uh, when we actually develop the uh, tissues in vitro, so uh, we can actually test the drugs by using the uh, 3D tissues. That might be useful to reduce the animal experiment.